Hey guys, thanks for joining us on our smart level tutorial video. What we're going to go into is we're going to go into dimensions, how to save them on your phone, export them in Excel spreadsheets, and even export them into CAD programs to then work off your drawing and designs. So we're here just in a front yard area application where we're going to take some different points and then we're going to actually integrate that in with the app. So first we just want to grab our smart level, keep the smart level in one location, and we're just going to make sure we pull out plenty of cord for working in the area that we're working in. So now we can just take our smart level and our monopod, just extend that foot out, and then you can just place the smart level right on top, and that just magnetizes to it. So from there we'll just turn on the power. And then once we get that power turned on, we'll then turn on the Bluetooth by holding the zero, pressing the power, and then releasing the zero button. And then we just need to pull out our phone. And now that we have the app pulled up, it is now connected to the level. And I can tell that too just by it matching up with the numbers. Then from there, we'll just go over to our first point that we want to pick. We got a point right here. And what I'm going to do is I can simply just save the reading by clicking on save reading. I can choose what folder I want it to go to. So say we want it to go to folder P1. And we'll just type in test. And then we can save that point. And then just you can view those readings or those points that you saved just by going into the view readings. And the nice part too is that you can actually view those in Excel spreadsheet and actually email them to yourself so that you can go back in the office and look at those. But if you want to take it a step further, what we can do is we can actually use the measuring device on your phone and actually integrate it with the height control too on the smart level. And then things start getting a little bit more techy, but yet we can then take these measurements and then export them into a CAD program. So to get started with that, you just click on the level or the measuring stick up in the top right corner. The first thing that it's going to do is it's going to want to detect the surface. So it's going to try to figure out the surface area. And then once we get it detecting the surface, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the ruler there by itself. And that's going to take our point one. And as we walk, we can actually see it taking in the distance. And we get to point two here. We'll just set it there, hit the ruler again, and that gives us our distance and our height. We'll move up to our third point here. Do the same thing, hit that ruler. And then moving over here to our last point. We're gonna hit that ruler again. And then we're going to actually hit, there's, what, there's a circle with two bars, we're going to hit that. And that's actually going to then close that surface. So now we can see that we have a closed surface. And then if we want, we can actually take a few points inside of this surface here to get a few extra readings to give it a little bit more accuracy. So by doing that, that's all you need to do is just hit the uh, square with the, with the um, points for adding more points and then you can just add that ruler in a couple of these locations and we'll just take one more point all right so now that we have gotten our four outside points and then we actually took four inside points what we're then going to do is we're going to hit that photo button here and now this is going to allow us to preview the points that we took so we can see our zero points we can see the distance and the elevation and then we can see that that's plotted all those things so we can actually download that and we'll just download it as a test file We'll save that to the P1. And now we saved them. 
and then we can actually click on the arrow in the top corner and then we can email that to ourselves and so now I've been able to email this to myself and now this will be ready to then take off our computer and then put it into our CAD program so that all these readings and all these measurements that we've taken here at this point will then be in your in your program so that you can lay out your job sites for the future so it's a really awesome system and you just need to get into it get some of these uh, little more techie things down on your phone and you're good to go to get all those measurements and design your job site